Hello, my friends. I got a very special gift from Microsoft today. I got the Xbox One X, which is the most powerful console ever made to play video games on. And of course, it's coming out very soon. And we are going to take a look at that. I can't plug it in. We can't start playing the software yet, but the reviews are coming. I guarantee you. I can't wait to do some head to head comparisons between this and the PS4 Pro. Before I open this, though, I want to just talk a little bit about the uh, Design Lab Xbox One controller that I was able to make. Microsoft sent me a code for this to check out the software that you can uh, interact with on a browser and you can customize and create your own controller. I did that. We made a video of that. It was super fun to shoot that and uh, uh, Blake did some great editing on that because I didn't really spend four hours on this. I probably spent a good chunk of time though. It probably felt like four hours but here it is. My Batman themed uh, controller which uh, I made in software and then literally like a week later I had the physicalized version of this thing in my hand and I love it. It's my uh, it, it's my standard Xbox One uh, control input now. This is what I use to play all my Xbox One games and, and now it will be what I use to play Xbox One X games. So let's open this up. We have a nice nice box here, nice packaging showcasing that it's a 4K device and it's going to look great on your beautiful, you know, wall stacked, gorgeous 4K televisions out there. You get some, uh, you know, start material right here. So some quick start material, some info on stuff. It tells you about the uh, Xbox Live and, and the Game Pass as well. And then we get the console, which is a little bit heavy. Ah, let's take this out of here. Oh, this is... Ah, probably the most exercise I'm going to have um, during this very busy gaming season. Some, uh, some sturdy foam to make sure that this thing doesn't rattle around and then it's taped up and uh, packed in really nicely so that it's all nice and protected and then you get this, this kind of uh, uh, beautiful black uh, monument almost. It's so elegant and sleek, but it's very thin. It's very small. What a tiny footprint. This is the smallest Xbox that Xbox has crafted so far, and it's the most powerful one. And I am very, very impressed. I love the look of the Xbox One S, and I can't believe that they won up themselves and made a, a more powerful you know, uh, beautiful, sleeker device with this one. I can't believe that the X is smaller. I'm gonna stand it up because it's got a, it looks really sleek like that. I don't think I've got a base in here. Let's take a look at the other stuff that we have. I think we get, uh, yeah, we get the power cable and it's no longer, you have to have some external power supply type thing. You just plug it in. You just get the two prong sucker in the back and then uh, you can power this thing up all keeping that sort of minimalistic, sleek, very sci-fi, edgy kind of footprint, which I love. And this is probably one of the faster uh, versions of the HDMI uh, cable that you can get out there because of course this is gonna pump out gorgeous 4K visuals for games and for 4K Blu-rays, which is a big deal about the Xbox uh, One uh, platforms now is that they can actually play 4K Blu-rays and you know I still can't believe that Sony made the decision to not include 4K Blu-ray support with the PS4 Pro. So that is a very nice edge that the Xbox One S and the X both have on PlayStation right now because 4K Blu-rays are still pretty damn cool. Uh, and then you get the, uh, the standard type controller for the Xbox One X, which I think is pretty much identical in feel and build uh, to the Design Lab one that I built. Uh, but I, I like that it's all kind of sleek matte black like that. It's going to make a nice contrast to the Xbox One S controller that I have, which is white and looks like a Stormtrooper. I guess I got the Darth Vader version of that too, which is cool. So I have a Darth Vader, a Stormtrooper, and a Batman controller right now, which is awesome. And, uh, and then you get a couple of batteries in here as well to stick into your controller. Uh, all packed in and that's it. That's it's, uh, it's minimalist packaging. It's a sleek minimalist kind of looking uh, a console, but it's meant to just project beautiful imagery and state-of-the-art imagery and uh, you download the games that you've bought for your previous Xbox machines that includes the backwards compatible Xbox 360 and now the backwards compatible original Xbox stuff that will all work with the Xbox One X and of course there are all kinds of updated 4K versions of great Xbox games out there like Gears of War 4 Forza Motorsport 7 is going to be upgraded. 
and I can't wait to dive in and play some of these games, check out some of these classics that I've, I've enjoyed before in this new higher beefed up resolution. And what I'm really psyched about doing is doing some head-to-head -head video content between uh, you know, current um, this season type hits like Shadow of War, Assassin's Creed Origins. I really wanna see how the Xbox One X handles the output and the PS4 Pro handles the output. And I'll do some comparison videos and we'll talk about that for sure. But uh, very excited to start reviewing 4K games and now watching some 4K Blu-rays on the Xbox One X. And stay tuned to this channel because the reviews are coming.